Hello, we play viewers. The day has finally arrived. Just put I'll put them aside. Hello again, I'm gonna be playing viewers. My new boat's going in. I forgot these two two cans of oil. The two cans of oil out of the way. So this is the travel lift picking up my new boat. And at least the day isn't half, it's only half lousy. There was drizzle earlier, but that's cleared up. So they finally got the solar panels installed. And that was the last big project, and I've been working... I've been working for a month trying to get her ready. Oh, well, they've been working. Good morning, uh, Jackie. There's the name. I'm not in Maine. I'm not from Maine, but that's, that's how it is. It's too much trouble to change it. So it looks like these solar panels are already wobbling in the breeze. I'm not sure about this design. I think I'm going to have to tie them down. There's a lot of torque up there. I hope the thing doesn't tear off. Yeah, it's a, it's a good boat. The, uh, the previous owner had a little accident. And so it got repainted a few years ago. And I don't have my voice yet this morning. So when these guys start work, they don't waste time. Their, uh, their commute is from, from this house to that shop. <laughs> Basically, they live here. So the tide's, uh, the tide's high enough to do this. Kind of a raw day. I have my jacket on. Yes, uh, Luke. This is a 34-foot boat. The other one was 29. The old boat is spending the winter at a horse farm. And after that, fate unknown. But it's kind of a sad sight. That old boat, all stripped out. Not much left in it. But the new boat has parts of the old boat, so the tradition carries on. No, no, it's not sold. It's just I put the old boat in the horse farm because my friend owns the horse farm. And it's a space that wasn't going to bother anybody. Whoops, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to pull up the wind vane. Things happened a little fast this morning. I really don't like how that, those solar panels are wobbling. They should be a lot lower, too. I'm not sure why they put them up so high. I think I know why they put them up so high. They have to clear a wire. But that looks like an accident that's going to happen at some point. Good morning. Yeah, they won't be in the way, but just look at how, you know, this is the first time, they, those solar panels just got put on. Uh, yeah, okay, I think I remember you from before. Anyone in, uh, in sort of a landlocked country? Oh, I'm so tired. Yesterday was my first day off in about four weeks. And my typical day would start between six and seven in the morning and go until five at night. There's just so much to do. So this is a fairly quick process. They go down to the uh, the water, which is only a short distance away, and and lower her down. Good weather tomorrow. Sure, post away. My new viewers, as is often the case, my periscope froze up. I think I might have. Uh, I should have restarted my phone. No, I'll go over this way. I think I had Wi-Fi trouble too, but I had to switch to a, a known signal. Yeah, we are back. We are hack. So once the boat's in the water, my next project is I have two sails to put on. I sure hope I tied the bow line onto the boat. 
guess we're about to find out. They'll probably sit here for a little while. They promised me a place at the dock, but of course every spot at the dock is, is full. So no one knows where I'm going. Yeah, yeah this is my boat, my new boat. <clears throat> All I've done so far is motor back and forth between the dock and the, a few mooring balls and then once upstream. So it's going to be a very different experience in this one. Yes. Oh my god. Much bigger. Yeah, well, it's not just longer, it's wider. I was, actually I was afraid I wouldn't have the same amount of storage space, and it turns out I have a lot more storage space. Uh, so I have, I have empty places yet to be filled up. There's Drew, he lives, he lives over here on that motorboat in the corner. And he's working and working and working. He's trying to get away from here for the winter. Yeah, they're going to check for leaks. Yeah, oh my goodness. Talk about sleeping. I bought a bed, a custom, a custom bed. And it's so soft. So they put a transducer in. They're checking it to make sure it's not leaking. And I think they'll just pull it back at that point. These people know what they're doing. Thirty four feet, Roddy. So there's a little pause there. Jay's checking the uh, where they put the transducer in. I sure hope there's not a leak. But now's the time to find out. Yeah, well, it is beautiful. This is a, a company that made made very nice boats. And this one was repainted a few years ago to this dark blue. And I, uh, what are you looking for? Oh. Yeah, it should be much easier going. So Jay's also taking off the, the engine hatch. I guess he's going to check the stuffing box. Yeah, it's fiberglass. It's very rare these days for anyone to buy a wooden boat unless they really, really love a, uh, a wooden boat. The mast is slightly taller. I could clear a 41-foot bridge and no longer is that the case. My, Oh yes, the top speed is bigger. Um, I'm not sure what my cruising speed is though. Oh, now the hatch is coming off, so there must be something to look into. Uh, oh my goodness, it's taken forever to, to get ready for this. Because a boat that I've already owned, it's all set to go. But this one, being a, a boat I just bought, I bought it in June. It arrived here in the early part of July. And here we are in the middle of September. So, for, for a while I wasn't working. I wasn't even here. I had to get away. Uh, the boatyard had their projects, and I couldn't be here in the heat either, either, and I just had to let them do their projects, and then I came back and, and was waiting for the solar panels, and that finally happened, and in the meantime, I was doing my projects, and at least it wasn't so hot. I'm heading to Florida tomorrow, unless they find something serious. So this checked for, uh, checking for leaks in the engine area. I don't know if they repacked the stuffing box or not. I didn't know if they did that or not. So, once once the uh, boat's out of the slings, there's quite a wind. I might try uh, putting the sails on. I don't know how that would work in this in this breeze. I might have to wait. Uh, the flooding is a concern. And there's some, some uh, water level gauges I was checking. Um, not clear what it will be like when I'm there in, in four weeks. So I think the flooding might be okay at that point. 
I, I suspect it will still be running out. It takes a long time for all that water to run out of uh, South Carolina. This is a Pacific Seacraft 34. So if she goes down, we're ready, and if she goes up, there's a leak. Let's see which direction we go in. Looks like it's going down. That's always a good sign. Yep, Myrtle Beach is a mess. And I'll be going, a lot of boats will be going through Myrtle Beach at some point. Uh, not anytime soon though, that's for sure. Uh, I've seen some people on YouTube that kept their boat in that, uh, in that region and I don't quite understand why if they could have moved uh, to a better place. But Myrtle Beach for me is, is at least a month away. So there's that. She's floating. Now if it's somebody else's boat, usually, usually I'm helping uh, pull. Oh, I wonder if the giraffe is still there too. Uh, it probably is. Uh, the keel is slightly deeper. The other boat was 4.9 and this is listed as 4.9 to 5. It depends on how much... Uh, I don't think she's gotten any lower. I put a lot of stuff in. But the water line looks pretty, pretty much the same, except at the bow. I have a lot of stuff in the bow, and you can see the uh, the balance is a little bit off. Yeah, it is a pretty boat. I'm definitely bow heavy. Uh, one thing I can do is is drain the forward water tank. I was planning to use the forward water tank for shower water. The back one for drinking water. The the forward one I haven't refilled recently. So uh, so that water's a bit stagnant. It's been sitting all summer cooking in the heat. Not much I can do about putting weight back because there's no room in the back to put weight. I did put a lot of weight in the front though. Uh, the space for ballast. The ballast is, is the keel and the keel's bolted on. So that's the end of this little launching video. They're just settling me in. I might end up being tied to that to that spot right there for, for the night. So I'm going to go over and uh, have a little chat with the boys. Everyone, thanks for watching, and I don't know if I'll be able to do a video uh, tomorrow. It's, it's a little tricky going through the bridge in a new boat. Uh, I had to go pull the had to pull the wind vane up. It seems to be a little buoyant. So everyone, thanks for watching, and who knows where the next time will be? But at least I'm doing. Uh, I have something to do periscopes of. Oh, you know what? I might give you a tour later of the inside. Uh, once the sail's out of the way. I can uh, clean up the little mess that's left, and uh, then it'll be pretty. All right, we'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Thanks for popping in.